Hello, everybody. I was talking to Mazook at the world of webcraft, and he asked to see how I would make a web page with a CSS background that's scaled to fit in the user's screen, no matter what size it is. So in this lesson, you'll learn to make a CSS background that's scaled to fit, no matter what the device that people are looking at it with. Mm. Before we discuss the code, let's take a look at the finished product. Now what happens is, regardless of the user's device, whether it be a tablet or a laptop or even a PC with a big old giant screen with great resolution, your web page background will fit in there 100% of the width. And your content, notice my HTML content, that's that black text here, it does not scale along with everything else. So that's the functionality that we're looking for. We're looking for a background image that scales 100%. Okay, here we are starting with the bare bones of an HTML5 web document. So whatever CSS I put within these curly braces is going to be applied to the body element in the page. So I'm going to start with the background. Colon. Now let's first target the URL. Now what I'm going to do is use shorthand for the background CSS. You could use all the longhand attributes, but I'm just going to use the shorthand method of setting all of the background attributes together in one line. So I'll get the URL, which is this background here. Then the color, I want to be this hex value. I want no repeat. And I want it to be center, top. Or you can just make that left top. It's going to be in there 100% regardless. So it really doesn't matter how you set those. Now we put a semicolon. And this next line is really the magic behind it. And this is CSS3, background size property. So now if we look at that in the browser, we'll see we got the results that we wanted. We wanted a width of 100% for our background image no matter what size the user screen is or no matter what device they're looking at it with. And remember this is CSS3. This property right here. But you can test it in all the major browsers. I tested it in uh, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and Chromage. And if it works in those three browsers, it's pretty much guaranteed to work in every modern browser that any device uses.